Hi there, RR here, and I will be answering this question. Hello po, may I know po what you did po after lumapag po dyan sa Canada. I also have the same situation po, nag-smear and sputum din po kasi. Thank you. Uh, so this is one of the cases um, when you're applying for a visa, like a study permit or a work permit in Canada, and there's an additional medical exam that you need to take. Um, they find something in um, your x-ray and then they requested you to have a smear and sputum um, TB test. So what you'll do when you arrive here in Canada, you're going to show them the form that will be provided by IRCC. It's, it's called the medical surveillance uh, undertaking. You need to show that to the officer, like one of the officers at the airport, and um, they will be giving you some guidance and instructions of what you need to do. Basically, a medical surveillance undertaking is, um, you know, uh, a form that would that you need to follow and uh, fill out. You have to contact the public health um, office here in uh, Canada, wherever you will be arriving. Um, can be in Toronto, can be in Vancouver, in Alberta, or the different provinces. Uh, so you just have to contact them. There's a number of days uh, indicated in the form that you have to contact uh, the, the public health office. In my case, it was seven days. So before um, before the seventh day, since I arrived in Canada, I have to contact the public health office and and then once I've contacted them, they will give me some instructions on what I need to do. Because what I did, I, I initially arrived in Brampton. So the health uh, office there, I think, is for the Peel region. And I have to pay something there. But since I moved to a different, uh, different city after, um, I had to contact uh, the Toronto uh, Public Health. And they gave me another form. So they instructed me to go to... Uh, one of the hospitals in Toronto, and I went to St. Michael Hospital, and I repeated my uh, smear and sputum test. The so same same thing. Um, your sputum will be connect connected, and um, you know you have to wait for, I think, uh, two months. So I got my smear and sputum samples in uh, October, and then the re the results came out in December, and it was negative. So after that, they will send a letter to IRCC saying that I'm cleared and I'm good um, to stay here in Toronto. Thank you.